Alaska. A place of beauty, tranquility, majestic scenery, extremes of mother nature, an unfathomable scale. Mount McKinley, otherwise known as Denali, encompasses it all. Mount McKinley, Denali, is the largest peak in North America, 20,320 feet tall. Most impressive thing for most visitors to the park is Mount McKinley itself and just how big it is. It's, it's so much fun to hear people talk about looking up and seeing big mountains in the clouds and then realizing they weren't looking high enough. There was another mountain up above those clouds behind it and they just, they said their eyes got big. So they really enjoy the fact that there's this huge mountain and, and even in person it's even more stupendous than it was in their imagination. People come here looking for adventure, looking to have that national park, once in a lifetime Alaska trip experience and my job is to help them accomplish that. And the things you can see are... Awesome! Talkeetna is a little town close to Denali National Park. It's an old miner's haven and a modern day mecca for tourists to the park and the mountain. The railroad came through here about 1914. That gave pretty good transportation access, the big highway 1972. And as tourism developed, Talkeetna became a kind of a tourist destination for a quaint old Alaskan village. Probably the thing that really puts us on the map is that mountaineers come through here. And that's why this ranger station is here. About 1,200 climbers come through here a year for the opportunity to test themselves against Mount McKinley or Mount Foraker. And uh, this is the access point for climbers to Denali. Talkeetna is a de facto entrance via aircraft for mountaineers to the park and for a heck of a lot of tourists. And for one of those rare moments, since Denali was clear and visible, I eagerly hopped aboard a sightseeing plane and played tourist for the day. The approach takes a while, the mountain is 60 miles from Talkeetna. The flight passes over an interesting landscape, over huge rivers draining the mountain, thick pine forest, boggy wetlands interspersed with tiny lakes, then grasslands and foothills. The scenery changes from a familiar living landscape to a stark, lifeless, vertical environment, but interesting beyond belief. Sunny day up here, we'll do uh, about five flights apiece. We also have two aircraft that are equipped for basically all weather flight through the clouds, and oftentimes the uh, upper parts of the mountain, say above 10,000 feet, are up in beautiful blue sunshine. It's pouring rain in Talkeetna, and we can uh, take people up and even sometimes land on the glacier during those uh, types of days. That's the route to the summit from the north. Right there, yeah. Pretty wild when you see people camping out on that ridge line. We were lucky. The conditions during our flight were completely clear. 
captivating our rapt attention, mesmerizing us with its full grandeur. The mystery and awe was in what we could see. Denali is an unusual landscape, one of extreme scale and conditions and constantly in change. Glaciers move, creating unusual features. The scenery is incredibly stimulating. It's like that of another world. That's an interesting feature, how much gravel and rock is right on top of the glacial and how thick it is. Yeah, it's a giant landslide that fell down the side of the mountain there a bunch of years ago, blasting across the glacier and now uh, just piggybacking down on top of the ice. The pilot is our tour guide, our mountain guide enlightening us with knowledge of the mountain as we explore this majestic peak. And right up ahead of us here, one of the more spectacular areas of the National Park, known as the Great Gorge of the Reef Glacier. And these granite walls are flying past are about 5,000 feet tall, so nearly a vertical mile of relief here. And right underneath us, they've measured the ice at over 3,400 foot thick. The immensity of Denali and its individual features is difficult to grasp. It's huge. There's nothing like it on the continent. The elevation change from base to peak is greater than that to the peak of Mount Everest. It is truly an environment of enormous scale, and a flight is an incredible way to explore it. What we're known for is that we do more glacier landings in Denali National Park and take more people into the park than any other company. And we're also known for taking climbers into unexplored areas. The glacier landing part of it has always been the backbone of the company and kind of what we're known for. The scenic flight tours that we do probably one of the better flight tours in the world we hear every day. Sometimes it's some of the best things somebody's ever done. I mean, there's so much to see in the Alaska Range. You know, of course, it's North America's tallest peak, and there's the range itself 500 miles long, and it's just expansive, beautiful place. I've been doing it for eight years now and still see something new and amazing on every single flight. Pretty much doesn't matter what the weather is or what's going on, everyone's blown away when they get here. Anyone can come around and fly around up here and look around. You do get an amazing perspective from the air. But getting out of the plane, actually walking around on the ice, gives you a whole different perspective. The perspective is different. When you leave the plane, it goes from an opportunity of seeing the mountain to experiencing it. Once I did it, it's what I recommend to everybody. It's like a once in a lifetime. Just something I knew would be spectacular, and it was. Jeez. Uh, I'm humbled, actually. You know, the airplane just glides through all those peaks and it's just beautiful. I don't think many people know that this is an opportunity they can have. You got to do this. Save your pennies, save your nickels, but this is one trip you have to do. It's worth it. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime.